and a prestigious award for a West Sussex charity that helps people break into the art world. Uh, now, as a child, Kevin Preston's artwork won competitions and got him featured on Blue Peter, but he never gained academic qualifications to take it any further, and he joined the army instead. But after being seriously injured on duty, he rediscovered art, which helped his recovery. He was supported by a charity called Outside In, founded in West Sussex. It's just been presented with the Queen's Award for voluntary service for the work done by its ambassadors, artists who help others overcome barriers to the art world due to health, disability or social circumstance. Well, Kevin's now one of those ambassadors and trying to help others, as Sean Killick reports. For two former servicemen, art has helped in their battle for recovery. Tom Stimson served in the RAF and was introduced to art whilst undergoing therapy. Kevin Preston served with the Coldstream Guards. His childhood artistic aspirations had no opportunity to develop, but after a serious back injury while serving, he rediscovered art supported by the charity Outside In. You know, they helped me get through quite a few things. They helped me out with the website uh, and I've got my own page. And not only that, I've done videos. It just gives you confidence to go out and actually talk to people. It's enabled me to heal internally. Um, it's healed the mind and the soul. And uh, by creating art, that will hopefully uh, continue to help and heal others. And that, you know, you share your story, you say that it can help um, and it benefits you as well. Art helped Beth Hopkins deal with mental illness. Outside In gave her an online gallery on its website. She now works for the charity, looking after its 100 ambassadors who reach out to other artists. They talk to artists who face barriers to the art world and quite often those artists face a lot of isolation. And one conversation with an Outside In ambassador can be life-changing. The ambassador's work has been recognised with the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service, which was conferred by Elizabeth II during her Platinum Jubilee in June and presented now at the Pallant House Gallery in Chichester, where the charity began 16 years ago. You know, we're trying to make the art world a fairer place where more people are recognised and given opportunity. We are looking at people who are homeless, who are substance misusers or, you know, are just struggling to get seen or to be supported. But ambassadors, they've had journeys, not always easy, you know, and art's been there for them. And their role is to help find those people who need us. One ambassador, Clark Reynolds from Portsmouth, was featured on South Today earlier this year. A professional artist who began to lose his sight and was supported by Outside In to develop Braille as an art form. He says the Queen's Award brings opportunity. I think it will open up more doors. We won't be seen as a disability organisation. We'll be seen as professional artists in our own right. You know, this year I've had three solo shows at three, three prestigious galleries. I've worked on the Commonwealth Games. I've been to America mentoring vision impaired children. I wouldn't be doing that without the opportunities that Outside In have given me over the last couple of years. And now there's official recognition for the charity that helps people paint a different picture. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Chichester. Mm, great as well, wasn't it, to see uh, a charity like that getting uh, recognition for Indeed. the uh, for the work it does uh, and yes. the recognition it deserves. And also, some of that artwork is uh, stunning as well.